Okay, the time has come for us to test drive our car with the new tow bracket on it and see how this works out. We're going to uh, do that with our Suburban rather than with our motorhome, our bus, just to get a better idea of what goes on here. And we'll take a little short drive and show you how all of this stuff works. So hang on for the ride. So this Jeep Wrangler is the third vehicle we've owned that has the same transfer case and uh, transmission setup that um, this one has. And I really like this because it's so easy to adapt for towing and it's part of the reason we do it. Partly because we have a four-wheel drive and partly because of this. Our Jeep Liberty before had this and our um, 1995 Chevrolet Trailblazer. Had, had this. So here's how it works, and this is what you do to put it in, in uh, neutral so that you can tow it, and you can tow it forever without having to stop at any speed, like unlike some other vehicles that you have. So the vehicle's running right now. The first thing you do is pull the transfer case into four-wheel drive, and you'll see that it's in four-wheel drive on the dashboard at this location. Now to shift beyond the high four-wheel drive, you have to move the transmission into neutral. It won't shift into four-wheel low or neutral in the transfer case without shifting to neutral. So you pull it back one notch. You pull the transfer case one notch, not all the way back to four-wheel low, but in between four-wheel low and four-wheel high. You pull it back one notch like that, and it shows that the four-wheel drive indicator light is off. So now you know that it says E-S-C-O-F-F, -F, and I'm not sure what that means. Oh, uh, something to do with, um, 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 I guess, traction control. Anyway, so um, now the transmission is in neutral and the transfer case is in neutral. The next step is to put this in park. Now, I don't like to put this in park when it's running because the gears on the transmission side are turning, and when you put it in park, with it in neutral, it breaks the parking paw. So I usually turn the car off, wait a few seconds for the transmission to stop rolling, and then I put it into park. No grinding of gears. At this point, you can now remove the key and take it out. And you have no connection between the engine and transmission and the wheels with the transfer case in neutral. So when I go to start on our test drive, I'll make sure that everything's unlocked and everything's rolling free and then we'll go for the ride. Okay, we just started up. We checked our turn signals to make sure they're connected and working and we're ready to go. So hang on.